We're here with members of the winning Deep Blue team in the Soggy Series. Uh, first of all, pitcher Clayton Payne. Um, what was your approach to shut down the white team hitters and what was working for you today? Um, we came in today, knew and all, we needed a big win today. Um, I was just waiting for my name to call. When you get your name called, you go out there and I'll give it your all. What, uh, what pitches were effective for you today? Um, fastball, curveball, slider for the most part. Everything felt good. Coach Adam Scott, the winning manager, uh, how, uh, how much pressure was there on the blue team to rally for a victory today? Well, I told them before we started that we beat ourselves yesterday, that we just need to come out and play solid defense and we could get the job done. How, uh, how important was it to jump on them with six runs in the first inning? That was big. I think it, it, when you jump on them that early, it, your pitcher can kind of settle in and you, you can have a little room for error if you need it. Um, but Chris had a rough first inning, but he settled in after that. Then Clayton shut down three innings, and then Hegner closed it out. Once uh, you got to the tiebreaker, fell behind there. Uh, was there any doubt you were going to tie it up? No, no doubt at all. We had our Joey Roach, our senior catcher, All-American catcher. Uh, I had no doubt that he was going to get the job done, get him over, and we had good hitters behind him to get him in. Next we'll go to uh, Darius Sewell with a key at bat to get the game tied in the bottom of the tiebreaker. Uh, Darius, take us through that at bat. Uh, yeah, I was really try just trying to uh, stay within myself, stay focused. And uh, I knew if he hit me, it all work out and get the run in. It worked for the best. Thank you and congratulations to Deep Blue.